Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a Windows system image backup using the Disk Master Free program. So this program can be used for many tasks such as making partitions, viewing your hard drive information, uh, creating virtual disks. Uh, they even have some tools here for disk information. And then you could also use it to clone your Windows system disk and then make it bootable on the new drive. So we have a video for that as well using this program. All right, so we're going to be doing the system image backup and then we're going to try to recover it and see how it works. All right, so I've already created a full backup here, but let's go back to the starting here. So if you were going to create one, you would click on your C drive here, most likely for Windows. Check the box that'll select all the partitions. Choose your storage location, obviously not on the C drive, so you'll have to use a secondary drive or a backup drive to store the image on. Then you could name the image. Then you could set some options here. You could add a comment to it. You could change the compression if you want to have it smaller. And of course it's going to take longer to back up if you use more compression. You could encrypt it as well if you want to add a password to it. You could split it up into smaller chunks. Uh, change the priority in case you have other things going. Uh, limit the speed. You're probably not going to use this. And then obviously you're going to want to keep the VSS option checked here. And you could also schedule it as well. And then what types of backups when you schedule it. So full, incremental, and differential. Okay, so I have this backup here that I did today. So here are the files. All right, so what we're going to do now is go back to the backup. And we're going to run a new backup here. And we're going to do an incremental backup so that way it only back up things that have changed since the last backup. So let's make a new file here. So that way this should get backed up when we do our incremental backup here. And then when we restore it, we should have this file here. And then we'll delete this file and then when we restore the backup, this file should be back. Okay, so let's run the uh, backup here. Let's check out the advanced options first. If you want to edit the backup, Delete it, locate the image, check the image, or mount the image. So let's say you mounted it, like so. It's going to use drive letter F. You could change it to whatever you want. Let's say Z, for example. So now we have our mounted image. So if we want to look at our backup, or actually take files out of it as well if we needed to. Okay, let's unmount this first here. Make sure it's gone. Okay, we don't want to have any problems with the mounted backup while we're trying to back up here. Okay, so we're going to do the incremental backup. So it's running here, then you have some options to shut down the computer when it's finished and ignore all bad sectors on the source disk. All right, so let's just let this run here. Shouldn't take that long because this should be the only new file on there. Okay, so this is finished. Okay, so now we're going to delete this file. And now we're going to go to the restore here. And so we have our two restore points. So here's our latest one right here. Okay, now we'll pick the entire disk here. Click on next. All right, select the destination disk. So it's gonna be the same disk, so just make sure you do that if you have more than one. So this, this is the 80 gig disk, which is what Windows is on right now. So we wanna make sure we put it back on the original disk and not restore it to the extra disk where the backup is. Okay, so here's our summary here. So our source disk, C drive, destination disk, C drive. Okay, we'll click on proceed. Data on the destination disk will be lost, so it's pretty much overwriting everything you have on there. So keep that in mind. So when you restore an image, it's only as good as the date and time you created it. So anything you've done since then will be wiped out and replaced by this image. So we're gonna say yes to this. Okay, we need to reboot to complete the operation. Okay.
Okay, so it's loading the tool here. All right, performing the recovery. So this will take a couple minutes. So I'll probably pause the video and be back when this is done. Okay, so now it's rebooting after finishing the restore. All right, let's log in. Okay, so we're logged back in. The restore is complete and you'll see our file is there that we deleted before the restore, which tells us that we restored the correct uh, backup there. All right, let's open the program one more time here. All right, so to summarize, just simply go to the system backup, choose the whole disk, choose your storage location here, obviously not on the same drive as um, Windows itself. You could change the name here too if you don't want to keep that name. Go through your options if you want to change these. Schedule it if you want. Then just run it. And then you'll have it listed in your backups. And then you could just recover it from here. Or you could browse for recovery and find the backup file and do it that way. And then you could either schedule uh, future backups or you could run future backups from here for the three different types. And then that should be all there is to it. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Disk Master Free and you could check it out yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.